Hello again. We are about to do the same exact chorus that we did with the 15 tooth sprocket, checking out the tech bike parts cam, but we're going to do it with a 16 tooth. So let's just see what the difference is. I've already ridden around with a 16 tooth a little bit, just a little bit after I got the cam broken in, just to see if it maybe makes sense for you. So come along. All right, so my goal for this is to be quick, short, sweet, to the point, and just give you the information about the 16 tooth cam. So we're gonna break until we get to the dirt bike course, and we're gonna start there and then take the uphills back. That's gonna be our test, just so you know. Okay, here we are. We got one vehicle out today, and I hear some giggling and laughing and dirt bikes in the background. It's a great, <laughs> it's a great sound. And what a place to do it. So that little bit, second gear, no problem. And that's what I'm worried about, obviously, more than anything, is stalling out on a climb. Those don't usually work out very well. I'm gonna take the first pass mainly in first, because I should obviously have additional range in first. Well, still pretty torquey, even in second. So that's nice. <laughs> that was in first, obviously. No problem there. Here's one of the kids. It's not a competition. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, I took that one in first and that was no problem. Those kids looked at me like I was crazy out here on a street bike. <laughs> but they don't know. It's the Wonder Himalayan. And another one. If I told y'all I got some air, would you believe me? I didn't get it in a really, really cool way, but I did get some air. Oh yeah, showing up in front of the kids. That is not a good thing to do. All right, this is a pretty good little incline here. Oh yeah. Okay. That was my test. The 16 tooth does just fine out here. Okay, here's the road back. And then we will hit the road. So on the dirt bike course, the 16 tooth sprocket did just fine. It's kind of fun. Never been a dirt bike rider, so <laughs> the only dirt bike riding I've really done has been on this Himalayan, so that's my excuse for what it's worth. Nice day. Much hotter, however, because that's actually a lot of work. <laughs>
even though I didn't spend much time out there just for test sake. I did go through the most challenging parts of that little course and the Himalayan did great course. You know, don't forget this time, as opposed to the first video that I've made out there, I, I've got the Rallycross Pirelli MT21s. They make such a difference. But I was a little bit concerned about some of those hills, but it did great. This hill has been a challenge for me before the camp. So still a torquey bike, and now even more torquey. And honestly, with the 16 tooth, it did as well on those hills as the 15 tooth did without the cam. So that's pretty impressive. So I-25 and I-70 in Colorado are both 75 miles an hour, I believe. I know 25 is for sure. Probably won't be taking the MLA in on those. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull off 75. If I want to do that, I'll buy a bigger bike. Because this stuff, like that little dirt bike trail, the little forest service trails that I've been riding around the last couple of weeks, those are tremendous amounts of fun. And I don't need to go 75 on those. Even accelerating going up the hill in fourth gear from 35 to 40. So this whole ride back up, you know, is uphill. So this is really one of my determining factor type stretches of the journey. We can make it up 65 the whole way. Happy camper. Even just that, 55 to 60 uphill in fifth gear was a struggle pre camp with a 15 tooth sprocket. Just under 65. Well, let's see what happens. I'm gonna downshift. Still under 6,000 RPM, and we're accelerating, and now we're over 65. So this one is a fourth gear road. This is about the top of that hill right there that's my nemesis. And you'll see that in fourth gear, G4, bottom right hand corner, we're at 65, actually just over. So that's a win, big time, very happy. I've still got a lot of range in fourth gear though, so that's nice to know that when I downshift, I've still got something that I can work with. So it seems like even with the 16 tooth, the bike pulls hard. It's right in the sweet spot because I can still pull from 50 to 60. Now going uphill from 60 to 65, that took a little bit more thought on the Himalayan's part. So it seems like in fourth gear, the sweet spot is up to about 60 miles per hour, which is right around what, 5200? RPM. It pulls pretty hard, even uphill, up to 60. Once we get beyond 60 and we're going uphill, kind of start to lose a little bit of the quickness anyway. It still gets there, it just requires a little more thought process. Now when we're flat, obviously, you just saw that we went from 65 to, well, 60 to almost 70 and nothing. If you live where I used to live in Texas, you will be a super happy camper with 16 teeth. This is another one of those hills. If I'd have just shifted down into fourth faster, it'd have been fine. No big deal. Even this little hill is, was a challenge before the camp. So let's see. To the top, not right here. Uh, 64 and a half. That's not bad. And it's such an improvement. It's not about being a speed demon. It really, it's not for me. <laughs> it just, I just want to have the capability of going 65 because that's what all the highways are around here. I can't go anywhere without needing to go 65. Just got back from the ride with the 16 tooth sprocket. And I wanted to give you my initial impressions before I actually put everything together and kind of formalize it. But 
it's interesting. I, I thought that I was going to bog down a little bit more on the dirt stuff because some of that was pretty rocky and there were some ledges that I went up and over and um, vertical parts that were probably nine to 10 inches high. Thankfully, I didn't bottom out. I didn't break anything off the bike. I got over them pretty easily. It felt like there was plenty of power in first, which is what I was going up those with. And then in second, driving around, but definitely on the road, you know, I still had to downshift. Now let's, let's look back before I, I installed the cam, I would have to downshift going uphill. The difference was if I downshifted, I was right at red line. I also didn't really ever pick up any speed. So I wasn't even able to go the speed limit. The difference with the 16 tooth on the hills like that, which I really appreciate, is it gives me somewhere else to go. Like I can cruise under 6,000 RPM at 65 in fourth gear. And I can even accelerate in fourth gear. So that to me is a win, especially since it doesn't really seem like the performance suffered on the dirt. So I feel like I just have more options with the 16 tooth. It doesn't really go any faster. I've gotten it up to 80 with the, the 15 tooth. So it's not really about that. I think when we're right around that 5,000 RPM mark, is that right? Five to 5,500 RPM. I feel like that's kind of the top end of the torque band. Like you're not really getting any more out of it as you go through those areas. I was able to do more. And this is all from pre-cam 15 tooth sprocket. That's the comparison that we're talking about right now. So the question is, what are the overall thoughts on the 16 tooth sprocket with the tech bike parts camshaft? Well, I gotta tell you, I put on the saddlebags yesterday, made a few other modifications, and I didn't put the 15 tooth back in there because I'm really, really happy with the difference in range that being able to shift down into fourth gear is provides me. It, I, th I really think it just hits the power band just right. So I'm really curious to see what the uh, Powertronics ECU is going to do whenever I get that and put that on there. But overall, on the trails, no big deal. I didn't notice anything with the 16 tooth. And while I was running in the cam, I had the 16 tooth installed for a good chunk of that as well. And <laughs> I didn't run into anything that I couldn't make it through just fine. Uh, you still have to ride, you still have to pay attention. So for me, it's a win. Now, once I get the ECU, I'm going to be interested to see if I can apply a little additional gas, maybe some timing advancement uh, to see if I can crank up that top end just a hair bit more. But I feel without a doubt the the Tech Bike Parts cam with the 16-2 sprocket has made a huge difference. I'm very excited about it and I'm excited to take that sucker out and go do some camping, go do some riding of trails, and it's going to be great. So come along with me. I appreciate everybody watching this to the end, and y'all have a great day and be safe out there.